yeah, return to the, to the concept of refugia, which is a community where some important aspect of human beingness is held and preserved and valued and, and nurtured and so that it will be available when the moment is right for it to spread across the earth again. It could be ways of communicating with each other. It could be ways of, of, of raising children. It could be ways of, that we relate to each other. It could, be, it could be material skills and even the valuing of material skills. I've started writing by hand again, um, realizing that, the, you know, in each transition from handwriting to typewriting, from typewriting to writing on a computer, and the newest transition from writing on a computer to having AI do the writing for you, <laughs> in each of those transitions, something is lost. Like when I write by hand, I have to think farther into the future. When, I write, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm writing on a computer, I can write half a sentence and figure out the second half of the sentence after the first half, and if it doesn't work, I can erase it and just write another one. Uh, my, 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 my window of thought is shorter. And, and the, uh, complexity and length of the concept that I'm holding in my mind is shorter. And I'm just like, well, I'll finish it when I get to there. But when I'm writing, I have to think it, think it out in advance. And so I enter a deeper state. And, and, and in that deeper concentration, the train of thought is longer, more things come together it's like five or six pieces of a lens come together. And when they come together, I can see through it. And I can see things I could not otherwise see. So I'm, I'm so like writing by hand. And you know, it used to be 200 years ago, a person's uh, worth, their, their, um, their status in part was a function of their handwriting. You know, it was considered a reflection of your character, how well you could write by hand. In those days, I would have been a very low status person. <laughs> but you know, it, it, like, it reflects your character. You have to, there's an attentiveness or a sloppiness that's not considered important today. It's not even noticed. When, when everything is put through the standardizing apparatus of, of typing or of you know, electronic text or the blanding of AI, then you cannot see the person anymore. And so you do not any longer have to be a full person anymore. Because who we are, it depends on our relationships. That's what I was saying before of my isolation behind a screen in a home where like the only trip I took in the last week was to go to the pool store because we moved into a new house and inherited the pool of the people who lived there before. Never had a pool before. And so I had to go to the pool store. But otherwise, like now <laughs> we just order stuff online, you know? Like, you can even get your groceries online. And it just comes to your house. So anyway, like this isolation. In isolation, we become less and less human. So another aspect of refugia is that we have to create conditions where we actually interact with each other in material ways and value the material. And understand that you cannot capture everything in data. Life cannot be reduced to a digital simulation. 
something is always lost. 